I'm in Lisbon, Portugal. I've been here for a week and there is something that's special about the city that sets it apart from other European destinations. And it's tiles. Tiles everywhere. And these tiles can be found all around Portugal. They've kind of been dubbed the unofficial symbol of Portugal. You'll also notice a lot of these tiles are just gone or been taken off. In 2019, Bloomberg called it an epidemic of sorts. Thieves often pry the little artworks off facades. And they sell them for hundreds of euros. I'm gonna head to a flea market where I hear they sell these tiles illegally on the black market. It's not really the black market, it's just a bunch of tourists wanting these tiles. So let's go and see if we can find one of these flea markets and work out why it's such a big deal in Portuguese culture. Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in the world, with a history stretching back 20 centuries. Azulejos, as they're known in Portuguese, date back to the 13th century, when the Moors ruled the Iberian Peninsula. They evolved over the centuries from Islamic geometric shapes to hand-painted images depicting Portugal's past, with styles always evolving through different artistic expressions. But it was the 17th and early 18th century that was known as the Golden Age of Azulejo. Now easier to mass produce, churches, monasteries, palaces, and even houses were covered inside and out with these ceramic tiles. And then in 1755, a huge earthquake struck Lisbon and like basically just decimated most of the city. It measured at 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale and could be felt across the Atlantic. The reconstruction of Lisbon after the disaster gave rise to a more utilitarian role for the azulejos. Smaller tile panels started to appear on buildings as protection against future disasters. And it's typical for the Portuguese to tell stories about their history and culture through these embellishments to the azulejos, which is what makes these tiles pieces of public artwork and a staple of Portuguese culture. So now you have some context to the history of Azulejos, let's get back to looking for these stolen tiles. Definitely stumbled across something. Oh my God, first all I see they have them, right here. Hola, how are you? Can I film it? No? Okay. The first lady I spoke to is not happy about me filming the tiles, but this is definitely the place. This market is a major tourist hotspot in Lisbon, and this chart shows the large increase in tourism over the past eight years, making Portugal now one of the most popular destinations in Europe. In the Bloomberg article, they stated that the rise of theft and destruction of the tiles was to meet the demands from foreign tourists. And the thing is, the city of Lisbon saw this as such a pressing issue that in 2013, it was forbidden to demolish buildings covered with tiles as an attempt to preserve the cultural heritage of the Azulejos. And in 2017, a new law was passed to prevent the demolishment of tiled cover buildings across the whole country. If I took some of these tiles off the now and stole them and got caught doing it, I could technically get up to eight years in prison. That's how seriously they take preserving these tiles. To be honest, if you wanted to stop people taking these tiles, you'd have to place a police officer outside every single building. It's not feasibly possible. Here at the market, there were definitely tiles being sold. They weren't selling them for hundreds of dollars. You could definitely tell which were the ones that were taken off of walls. But the majority seemed to look like they were being produced as souvenirs. It was only when I got back to London did I notice the extreme prices that these tiles can fetch online. Today, these tiles are a dominant feature in every Portuguese city. Portuguese culture is embedded into these incredibly hand-painted, artillic tiles. 
And if you found this video by searching on YouTube, I'm gonna assume that you're interested in Portugal or you're looking to go there. So now you have a little bit more knowledge and appreciation of the artwork that is visible across Portugal. And why you probably shouldn't take some home. Take a video, they're gonna look way better in their original position than on your fridge at home or your bedroom wall. And I wanna leave you with a quote from Jorge Costa, a Lisbon cafe owner. These historic tiles are not mine, they're not yours, they're everybody's, and we all have a duty to protect them. Thank you for watching, thanks for coming along on this journey. Um, and yeah, I hope you now understand why these tiles are so beloved in Portugal. And I've just been in Lebanon making a video with Terra Mata about the garbage crisis. It was my first solo reporting trip. And I'd love you to go check it out. I will link it below. And um, yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching. Um, remember to like this video, subscribe, comment, all those YouTube things, and um, I will see you guys in a bit.